Hey guys, it's Tracy. I was totally inspired to create something when I found these plastic fences at the Dollar Tree. Now these are made to go out in your yard, but I'm like, oh my gosh, they are going to look so cute on something, some kind of wreath. And this is what I came up with. I'm so excited to share this with you today. I made a little picket fence to go on this burlap wreath. So let me show you how to put it all together. I'm starting with a 16 inch wire frame and I picked this one up at Walmart and then I also got the burlap at Walmart. I love them. They have these large rolls of burlap and I use these two rolls as well as another half of a roll but I'll get to, into that in just a little bit. And so to attach the burlap to my frame I am just taking the end and I'm just kind of accordion, accordion style and put the little Chanel stem together and then just starting somewhere <laughs> I just usually am just starting on the wire and I'm going to snugly put that on the wire and then I'm going to take the burlap and push it through the inner wire then push it through the outer wire then go back in the uh, inner wire I don't really twist it in the back some crafters twist it in the back but I just find that if I just you know tuck it and uh, it holds really well. This is what two of the rolls of the burlap look like on this square frame. And see how that is hollow in the middle? I want to put some additional burlap in there and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna attach it on the back so that it will have, uh, that is what's going to hold my fence up, like when I hang it on a door or that kind of thing. So I just want it to be really solid. So I have another roll of burlap that I'm just going to be um, using on the back and I'm just going to attach it to the frame and I'm just bunching it up and I'm just going to attach it you know in different areas so that it will you know give me the fullness in the front okay now that I have the burlap in the center also as you can see there's nothing that it you know can lean up against so it'll will Full, fall out. So I have this jute string and I'm going to make a weave or a basket in the back and I just crisscrossed it like made an X and then went across the back and just tied it uh, in little knots just to make like a weave effect so that it keeps everything nice and neat and all together in one little package. Now I'm going to work on my fence. This is how it comes from the Dollar Tree just like this. And I'm going to cut off the sides of the fence and I'm going to use my Tim Holtz scissors for this. Now what I find is that so that it doesn't cut into the larger picket, I'm going to put one slit uh, on the top of it and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to um, cut the other side of it so that it doesn't put a like a gash in it. Um, because the way that the little fence is made, you'll kind of see when you cut it, you'll kind of see that if you put a slit up one side and then put the slit down the other side, it cuts it off evenly without putting a gash or a little hole in the bigger picket. So that works really good. Now when you cut off the sides of the fence, don't throw those side pieces away because you can snap them together and you have another picket fence. I'm going to paint my sign so that can be drying uh, before I put my uh, flowers on my wreath. So I have a small board and I painted that an off-white color and then I'm going to do a yellow border. I always paint the um, outside of my signs first so that I can lay it down 
and then I can paint the border a little bit easier and so I'm just going to paint a border and then I will use black paint and I will hand write uh, welcome and I will just continue decorating this little board so that it can dry while I make the rest of my wreath. I'm just using some buttermilk paint and I'm just going to take a thin little brush and just make some little lines all around the edge of the border and then I shaded it with some brown just to kind of give it a little rustic look and then now I will highlight it even more and use my favorite black sharpie marker and just go around the board just to give it a little bit more definition. Just because I love the look of it, I will splatter on some black paint as well as some of that off-white buttermilk paint and uh, put that to the side so that it can dry. Okay, now I'm going to attach my fence to my wreath and I'm using a white coated little wire that I get in the floral section perfect for these kind of uh, things and since this picket fence is white it is going to work very nicely so I'm just bending that wire over and just going to attach that wire to the back of the wreath form to I mean the back of the wire form and so I'm just kind of threading my wire through the back of the wreath and then I'm just going to twist it around the back. So what I'm doing going back and forth making sure that I didn't lose my wire when I turned over the wreath and so I'm just going to cut off a little bit of that wire now that I kind of have it in the back and I'm just going to twist it and just kind of twist it over on itself and then I will twist it and attach it to that wreath frame so that everything is nice and snug and I always check the placement I want to make sure that it didn't turn and that it's not going to be lopsided so um, that's why I always just kind of go back and forth and just double check myself okay now for the fun part I'm going to use this bunch of flowers and I got this at Walmart it was five dollars for the entire bundle and it has sunflowers and it has some berries on it and it also has some little greenery and I'm going to also use those daisies I decided to use those daisies here on this wreath so now I'm just kind of figuring out you know what do I have on this bundle what do I want to use I decided I wanted to use the leaves because that would also give it some depth and I want to cut off not just a flower I want to cut off a good maybe three about three inches of the stem so that that will help me when I glue it on to the wreath it will help stick into that burlap so that works perfect okay I cut all of the flowers uh, including some of the stem and I just placed them in the burlap where I wanted them to go I haven't glued anything down yet I just wanted to kind of see where I liked everything and so I really like this placement and I wanted to um, draw your attention to this little greenery it's a little um, spriggly the sprig thing and I stuck that behind the picket fence and, and I really think that that gives it some depth and dimension and some cuteness so I'm gonna glue that um, behind that picket fence so now I'm gonna use some Aileen's tacky glue just some wet glue that I just have here in a little um, cup that I like to use and I'm just going to stick that stem in there and then I'm just gonna thread it through the burlap and it will dry and uh, just be beautiful
Okay, I did the same thing with the little daisies. I am just gluing them um, sporadically in the wreath, just kind of placing them around wherever I wanted them to go. Okay, this is the ribbon that I used in this wreath. It is from Michaels and it's a very wide ribbon. I think that it will look very pretty in this wreath. So I'm just going to make a simple little crisscross bow and because the ribbon is uh, very wide I just am I want to gather it in the middle but I'm just trying to figure out the best way to uh, grab it so bear with me as I make this little bow and attach it to the wreath. Okay, I'm going to make a bow that goes on top of the yellow and uh, white checkered. And I also got this ribbon from Michaels. It's really cute brown and white gingham that has some lace down the middle. So bear with me because it's been a, a, few, a while since I've made a bow like this. So trying to remember. So I'm going to make one loop and this is going to be my middle loop. So just gathering it with my thumbs and then that tail I'm going to twist it so that it lays um, the way that I want it. So just twisting that holding it with my thumbs and then I'm going to make a loop and I twist it so the right side is showing on the top and then gathering it with my fingers and then I twist that and then I'm going to make another loop around the same size that I made the first loop and then just continue making the loops, twisting it in the middle so that the right side of the ribbon will show for the loop. Now to make my sign as realistic as possible, I have a little piece of wire and I drilled two small holes in my sign and I'm just going to attach my wire so that it looks like my little sign is hanging off of my picket fence. So I'm just going to kind of measure the wire so that I know how big I need the wire. Okay, I'm just positioning my little welcome sign on my little picket fence. Just kind of bending the wire over the little pickets. And then I'm just, once I find the placement, then I'm going to get some wet glue. And then I will get a dollop of hot glue and glue my sign to my picket fence so that it doesn't um, come off. Okay guys, I would love to hear your comments about my little sunflower burlap wreath that I have put together today with you here. So leave me a comment and uh, give me a thumbs up. I would love that. And subscribe to my channel if you currently are not a subscriber. I love to create crafts like this. And so when you're a subscriber, it lets you know when I have uploaded a video. Thanks so much for watching everyone. We will see you real soon and God bless.